Wall Street is awaiting a positive start to the week. Record highs are back in sight for the major averages. It may be Columbus Day, but the Dow and S&P could hit fresh levels. Also, we have big earnings coming out from the banks. And in the previous session, U.S. indices closed mixed to finish the week higher. Now, shares in the food and staples retailing, telecom services, and energy sectors took a hit. Meanwhile, shares in the autos and components, semiconductors, and semiconductor equipment, as well as consumer services, gained some strength. And on the economic data front, the change in non-farm payrolls pulled back by 33,000. 58% of S&P 500 constituents traded lower Friday. And in company news, Honeywell International reportedly will be planning to spin off non-core assets and create at least two new publicly listed companies. This according to people familiar with the matter. Meanwhile, Tesla shares were down in pre-market hours. Chief executive Elon Musk says the company had pushed back the unveiling of the big rig truck until mid-November. In overseas markets, Asian markets are mixed. The Nikkei is closed today. The Hang Seng off nearly half a percent and South Korea's Kospi up 0.9 percent. European indices are trading flat. Here in the U.S., uh, for the Nasdaq, it is in the spotlight and the bias does remain bullish. Long positions above 60.37 are preferred with targets at 60.95 and 61.10 in extension. As for the Dow Industrials, the bullish buy stands above 22,650 and for the S&P 500, the upside prevails.